First Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. Watch out for the fog this morning. It is pretty thick and widespread across the area. Now, officially, there's not a dense fog advisory. In effect, we're just under that criteria. But a dense fog alert, if you will, we're alerting you to the fact that there are some areas around Bowling Green, South Central Kentucky, that received the heavy rainfall yesterday. Your visibility this morning is going to be right at a quarter mile, in some cases even less than that, some cases even a few hundred feet. So please exercise caution. At least we don't have the big thunderstorms that we had here yesterday morning at this hour. Things are very quiet on First Alert Live Doppler radar. A few light showers out to the southeast along the Cumberland Plateau. That's all for now. But we are not done by any stretch with this unsettled pattern that is going to be with us, unfortunately, through the Independence Day holiday and into the upcoming holiday weekend. 62 right now with temperatures around the Mesonet Network this morning, uh, right around that same area. 65 back in uh, Russellville and also in Greenville. Elkton's also at 65. You see a little bit cooler, 59 up in Hodgenville, 62 Campbellsville and also 62 down in Albany this morning. Lake Malone, that is our hometown forecast pinpoint for today, which includes the uh, Greenville, Central City, Powderly area. You'll see a high today around 82 degrees with a chance of a shower later. Russellville at 83, Elkton at 84, Hopkinsville at 84. By the way, the Kentucky Lottery Powerball jackpot estimated to be at $60 million, while Mega Millions estimated to be at $70 million. Low readings in the pollen count, ozone, and molds all across the board there. UV index still running high because we will have a period of uh, sunshine mixed with clouds as we uh, have seen over the last couple of days. That's going to happen once we get rid of this. A very soupy start to the day with a very thick fog as mentioned. Once that begins to burn away, there will be low clouds for a while. And then we'll see a mix of clouds and sunshine as we get on into midday and afternoon. 62, the current temperature right now in Bowling Green. Light southwest wind, humidity 100%. As we check a few of our AAA systems weather cams, here's Greenville in Muhlenberg County. 66 degrees to start there this morning. A little bit of patchy fog in the distance there in Simpson County and Franklin, 64. Jamestown Marina at Lake Cumberland, you don't have as much fog this morning, but a temperature at 62 degrees. You didn't get as much rain as some folks did yesterday around the Bowling Green, southern Kentucky area and off to the north. Temperatures around the region this morning, 60s and 70s, very muggy, moist air mass, and that old upper low continues to sit here and just spin counterclockwise. It has drifted a little bit further back to the west, more toward the St. Louis area. Mount Vernon is about where it sits this morning. That's where the heaviest of the rains are cranking out this morning, just like we had over our area yesterday. But that area is going to slide back toward the Bowling Green area over the next couple of days. And we're going to keep a good chance of rain in the forecast. Even this afternoon, I do look for a redevelopment of showers and thunderstorms. And after sunset, everything just kind of breaks down just a bit. We lose the daytime heating. But then as we get into uh, the day tomorrow, Wednesday, and even into Thursday, that trough is going to be right over South Central Kentucky. And here comes another big surge of moisture. And with that, unfortunately, for your 4th of July, it looks like it could be a bit rainy at times. Partly sunny today after the fog, scattered showers and thunderstorms, 82. Tonight, down to 65. Tomorrow, up to 83, with a continued 30% chance of a shower. The chance goes up to 60%, though, for Thursday and Friday as you kick off your holiday weekend. And again, it's not going to rain the entire time, but when it does rain, the rainfall could be heavy. We could have more of those kind of lightning strikes that we had yesterday and gusty winds. High temperatures mainly in the mid-80s, warming up to 90 by Monday.